Dying to play Metal Storm for NES but can't find an old physical copy? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 amazing games emulation kept alive. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're talking about the older classics that modern gamers have little to no access to. These amazing games have no legal means of purchasing them outside of the used game market, and would otherwise be lost today without emulation. Given Nintendo's recent crackdown on major emulation sites, we want to be clear we are not condoning piracy, because it's important to support the game developers. Number 10. Little Samson This action platformer from Taito has developed a reputation as one of the most technically impressive games for the NES, having highly detailed graphics and impressive boss characters. It's also looked back on as one of the best platformers for the NES. But it's also a game that's nearly impossible to find nowadays, and if you are lucky enough to find a copy, it'll set you back at least $1,000. It's never been re-released either, so our options for playing this underrated gem are pretty slim, making emulation a very attractive alternative. <laughs> Number 9. Masters of Combat This fighting game has been all but forgotten online, with nary even an English Wikipedia entry for it. But that won't stop us from remembering it fondly. The plot develops around a fighting tournament being held in a place called Megalo City sometime after a UFO crash landed there. You play as one of four fighters as you kick and punch your way towards uncovering dark secrets about the extraterrestrial crash and the city's mayor. For an 8-bit fighter, it looks good, moves well, and contains quite a few moves per character, which was a lot to ask for from a fighting game back then. Number 8. Night Slashers This beat-em-up by now-defunct arcade giant Data East was incredibly similar to Capcom's classic brawler Final Fight, and allowed up to three players to join forces and fight their way through ghoulish creatures such as zombies, werewolves, and vampires. In fact, the horror setting is what made this game stick out from other beat-em-up clones of the day, as did its rather large moveset per character. The Japanese version contained quite a bit of blood and gore, which was unfortunately censored in North America. Number 7. Herzog 2 An early Genesis title that predates Sonic the Hedgehog, also known as the game that made the console a household name, Zvi is considered a precursor to not one but two major gaming genres. The gameplay premise is pretty straightforward. You pilot a jet that can transform into a giant robot, but also has the ability to construct and train other units to build an army to destroy the enemy base while defending your own, i.e. components that can be found in the highly competitive real-time strategy and MOBA genres today. Talk about a game being way ahead of its time. Number 6. Alien vs. Predator This arcade beat-em-up from Capcom was incredibly well-received by critics and gamers alike, considered to be a classic of the genre, yet it was oddly never ported to any home systems. Did they not want our money or something? Based on an earlier draft of an Alien vs. Predator comic, up to three players battled against the Xenomorph Horde as either cyborg soldiers or two Predators to stop the aliens from taking over the Earth. Though the premise and controls were basic, the action was fast-paced and intense. Yet sadly, due to both Alien and Predator video game licenses frequently switching hands, the game has never seen a port to home consoles to this day. And it likely never will. Number 5. 
5, Sunset Riders. This side-scrolling, gunslinging shooter from Konami was originally released in arcades in 1991, before finding its way to the Super Nintendo two years later. Set in the Wild West, the game follows four bounty hunters on a mission to round up as many outlaws as possible by defeating their gangs and saving the townsfolk. The SNES version was very well received, with multiple critics highlighting the game's sharp graphics, challenging difficulty, and memorable soundtrack, while also commenting on how little it changed being ported from arcade. We, on the other hand, just love pretending to be cowboys. Number 4. Haunting This very early entry from Electronic Arts is a unique, fun game in their library, and looks nothing like a modern EA game. Instead, Haunting is a comedy horror adventure where players control the ghost of a young man named Polterguy, an obvious riff on the Poltergeist films, as he seeks revenge on a family he deems responsible for his death. The aim of the game is to scare this family out of each of their four homes by inhabiting objects in their environment. It was ported to the PlayStation Portable briefly, but it's still hard to find outside emulators. We'd love to see EA revive this style of game if we can't get another re-release. Number 3. Saturday Night Slam Masters Let's get ready to rumble! This arcade wrestling game from Capcom is an example of another tremendous port to the SNES, and one that leaves us wishing and hoping for a re-release or remaster someday in the future, because this game is the definition of fun. It plays like a wrestling game, but it all feels very much like a classic beat-em-up in the Final Fight vein. It even includes Mike Macho Hagger from Final Fight as a selectable grappler. The Team Battle Royale mode was a sure fan favorite, as were the highly detailed and animated cast of characters to choose from. <laughs> Number 2. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs <laughs> The name alone is enough to make us want to replay this classic beat-em-up from Capcom. The game was based on the comic book series named Xenozoic Tales, set in a post-apocalyptic future where humans find the world reclaimed by previously extinct dinosaurs. This brawler has a cool twist in that when dinosaurs appear in the game, they can attack either the player or the enemies, leaving room for much uncertainty in the process. A short-lived animated TV series of the same name was launched on CBS, but it never found a foothold like the game did in arcades. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number 1. The Simpsons Arcade Game <laughs> It's our belief that everyone old enough to remember this game has fond memories of popping endless amounts of quarters into it in an attempt to rescue Maggie from Mr. Burns. Another side-scrolling beat-em-up, this time from Konami, the Simpsons arcade game has been in such high demand since its initial release that it was briefly given an HD port to the PS3 and Xbox 360 in 2012, but had to be removed the following year due to licensing issues. Sadly, another fan-favorite arcade game in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was also temporarily available on Xbox 360, but has since suffered the same fate. 
Heck, we could have filled this entire list solely with old licensed games that can't be released today, but that would have been too depressing for our childhoods. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.